let us know what you think. 0500 909 693. Being fat, is it self-inflicted or is it some type of psychological illness? Uh, is it uh, society that is to blame? Is society right to judge people who are morbidly obese? Natasha Devon, a plus-size model, runs the campaign website Body Gossip. Hello, Natasha. Hi, Stephen. Hello there. Steve Miller, conference coach, calls himself a straight-talking motivator. Hello, Hi. Steve. Hi. Hi, Stephen. Hello. So fat people are to blame for themselves, Steve, are they? Well, I've always said that um, there is a small proportion of people that do have deep psychological problems that struggle with their weight, but there is absolutely no doubt from my experience of working with lots of fat people that the, the majority of people that are fat are fat because they need a kick up the bum, they are fat because they eat the wrong stuff, they don't think before they eat, and they need to get their backside into gear. It's very, very straightforward. I mean, I think we need to differentiate, don't we, Steve, between uh, the kind of fat people that you're talking about. I think you're talking about people who are perhaps mildly overweight and people like Georgia in the press today. Nobody eats themselves to 63 stone because they're in a happy, stable, emotional place. We all know about healthy eating. We all know about exercise. And yet still people struggle to, well, no, lo to I lose I weight. I don't agree with you, Tash, at all. I think, I think the problem with the, the UK at the moment is that we over-intellectualise the problem like you are doing now, that we make it a society's problem, we make it a theoretical problem, and we give people excuses. And I think that's the cruel thing to do. It's where not, you're it's saying, not where excuses, you're saying, it's where reasons. You're saying to people, where you're saying to people, you know, you're fat because you have psychological problems, you have society telling you how you should look, and we intellectualise it. And we give all these people these excuses that give them the great meal ticket, so to speak, to stay fat. But what, and, but what and I we're think doing... that's cruel, because what you're doing is just saying to people, oh, don't worry about it, we'll make the excuse for you. It's all society's fault. That's absolutely not what so we do what at I'd all. What I'd love you to do, what I'd love you to do tonight is actually tell us what is the solution. Well, I'll, I'll tell problem. you, if you'll let me get a word in edgeway, Steve, tell I will tell you. Tell what the solution is. The solution is, if you go to your doctor and say that I'm binge eating and I'm very overweight for that reason, the doctor should not send you away with a diet sheet and tell you to eat less which is what is happening at the moment the doctor should try and find out what is happening in your life that is causing you to overeat we should be offering these people counseling we should be offering them coping mechanisms which have nothing to do could with food greed and laziness it could be but in our experience the vast majority of cases not. is it I, d I don't Greed think it and is. I think and a, people eat a lack of responsibility for your own body and your own health. I think people overeat because they're lonely, because they're depressed, because they're stressed. All these things have other solutions which you can seek outside food. Most people well, are trying to. Thirty odd percent of the population, then Natasha. Because Where is that statistic even from? We have a thirty percent plus obesity problem in the UK, and you're now saying that thirty percent plus of people that are obese and fat in this country is because we're all lonely. No, we're all, all stressed. I think. Probably 30% of people are stressed in this country at the moment, what with the economic oh. climate, etc. So, so it's all down to stress. So, so you're saying the obesity problem is down to we're all stressed, we're all overworked, and um, it's everybody else's fault that we're fat. No, I'm not saying it's anybody else's fault. I'm saying we need to look at the real reasons as opposed to just calling these people lazy. If somebody under ate, if somebody starved themselves so until they couldn't leave the house, we'd have an enormous amount of sympathy for that person. But with this Georgia who's overeaten, the reaction in the press has been appalling. We've pointed and laughed and made a laughing stock of this poor girl who's obviously in a, in a so terrible what do we emotional do with state. What, what do we actually we do We need with to find out well, what the media have not commented on is what is going on in this girl's life to make her over it to that extent. I don't know the answer to that question, but somebody needs to find out. Here's Pam tonight. Hello, dear Pam. Hi. Thank you for calling us. Now, you're really fat, aren't you? You're 21 still. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, look, you, you, call, you know, call it as it is, Pam. For goodness sake, I'm 22 stone. Oh, I'm right, really then. fat. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this BBC script tonight, and it's talking about, oh, you know, they're, you know, this person is rather large, and this person is this and that. You're fat, Pam. I'm fat. It's cold as um, it is. Yeah, okay, but there's politer ways of saying it, surely. Really? Do you not? Do, do you, how do you describe yourself? Um, 
I describe myself as fat, but if anybody oh, else calls, yeah, but if anybody else calls me yeah. fat, then um, yeah. it offends me. Maybe, maybe I, well, I, I listen, and I don't want to offend you. Oh, of course, <laughs> I don't. But maybe, maybe I think I've got a right to call you fat because I know I'm fat myself. So. Oh, that's fat. Yeah, yeah, I accept that. Yeah, that's fine. Fat, fat, I, I fat, wouldn't. Fat boy talking to fat girl. No, Pam. What's no, your I thought? I wouldn't call you fat. You well, think? please do because I am. <laughs> no, let's go to the chase. What do you think? <sighs> I don't know. What's the question? Sorry. <laughs> the, 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 the question is whether it is a fat person's responsibility to get off their backside and, and you know, you brush your teeth every day. If you've got rotten teeth, it's your fault because you know to use toothpaste <laughs> and, and, and you know to brush your teeth. In the same way, <laughs> no, you should it... know if you're fat how to get skinny. That's what some no, of the critics would say. No, no, no. Stop it's... being lazy, stop overeating, <laughs> and get yourself in shape. Listen, listen, it's not black and white. There are so many grey areas. This poor girl in South Wales, what else is going on in her life? Has she got medical problems? You know, myself, I'm a diabetic. The insulin that I, lo I use make me put on weight. Um, there's loads of different issues. My mum was big. So I've expected, you know, I, I myself is big. Um, the genetics, there's, there's loads of different reasons other than being lazy. Do you eat a lot? Do I eat a lot? No. So you're another fat person that doesn't eat a lot? No. This is the thing, though, Stephen, isn't it? No one gets fat on fresh air. Right. And we are making <laughs> so many excuses in the UK for allowing the obesity epidemic to get get to the way it is and until we start with tougher measures and we have some straight talking approaches to it yeah. we are going to get fatter yeah. but you need to understand steve let me tell you it's a lot more complex you know do you honestly think people who are fat are want to be fat they, they do you honestly think they this want to I be think. out of breath do you really I'll think you, that well, they I'll want to be you. getting into the majority of shops in this country and they can't get decent clothes to fit them I'll tell do you, you really think they're getting up out of bed in the morning and thinking i'd love to be like that come on I'll, wise I'll, up. Tell you, I'll tell you the answer to that question you're putting to me i think there are some people out there that do have deep psychological problems where it's difficult for them and i'm the first one to say that but there are a huge amount of people out there that are fat because they don't put their backside into action and do something about it and i'll tell you something that fat people many fat people out there agree with me and they find it really refreshing when someone actually says you're fat because you're lazy get your backside into gear and i used to be one of those people i was fat because i sat on my backside eating takeaways every but there's night. so much guilt and shame associated with overeating in this country we live in a culture where it's perfectly acceptable to roll into work and say oh i got absolutely off my face on alcohol last night but yeah. you would never come in and talk about how much you'd eaten if you'd have had a massive binge eat i'm gonna sit after this burger and what it's got to do with it is, do with it? is that attitudes like yours are perpetuating that guilt and shame. Do you yeah. think by pointing the finger at fat people and making them feel bad about themselves, they're what's not the just going to seek solace so in a pie and chips? Natasha? What's the alternative? You like all this political correctness. To treat them like human... It's alternative? not political correctness. It's having tea. empathy for other people and oh, treating them like so human tea beings. Tea and tissues is your answer then. Tea and tissues and we'll all get thinner. You've got to educate the public that not all 